My name is Christina Kish, and I'm a violinist and violist. And I'm playing with the Garden State Philharmonic for several years now. Actually, my musical journey didn't start with the violin or the viola. I was singing in a school choir. I grew up in Hungary, and I started to play the violin when I was in fourth grade, and the viola came much later when I was already 18 years old when I started to play. I really enjoyed to being in a choir and later also in the youth orchestra because we were doing so much traveling. Actually, by the age of 13, I think I've been in most of the European countries. I even spent a full summer in Japan with a choir. Playing more than one instrument is actually not as unusual. It's so called the doubler, is sometimes even required in musicals. I actually prefer to play the viola in orchestra settings because I feel it's closer to my personality. It doesn't get the spotlight as much as the violin, but it's more like a supporting instrument. So while I play, I have still energy to focus what surrounds me and how can I be more supportive for the other sections. The viola is more giving like a texture to the music, a rhythmical and harmony texture. Also the viola sound is very very special. It has some blueness, it's a little bit dark, but I also like to call it chestnut sound. So how we make a sound on the viola? Well, the sound is being created by the resonation of the strings. That we can just simply plot the strings. But we also can use a bow to make that happen. Since my dog Mo joined us in this video, let's see what's the difference between a violin and a viola. Well, they look alike, but actually there's a size difference between the viola and the violin. This is my violin and this is my viola. But also the range is different. The viola is strained exactly the same way as a cello. It starts with a C string, a G, D, A. But the violin starts with the G, D, A, and also has an E string. And now, I'm going to try to demonstrate the difference between the violin and the viola sound with the Mozart Symphony Concerto. The concerto is a double concerto for violin and viola. So right in the first movement, it's a fast movement, we're going to hear the, this little theme first by the violin. It's very, very quick and very joyful and very light and definitely suits more the violin than the viola. And then the viola is going to answer to that. And now let's hear the second movement theme. It is a slow movement and very melancholic. And I think that suits better the viola sound and its character. The theme introduced again by the violin first and then the viola. It's going to do well. So let's hear the violin. I'm sure you noticed that the viola wasn't as light as the violin, it wasn't as vigorous, it sounded very heavy. Thank you so much for listening and I really hope you like this introduction of this beautiful instrument 
and uh, you might want to give it a try. And now I'm going to play a viola solo excerpt of a ballet called Coppelion, written by Dali. And I came across with this piece uh, when I applied for a position uh, with the English National Ballet. And since this is one of my favorite pieces of all time. Thank you. 